The interval is in some ways just as important, in some ways more important, than what it's between. What's up, beautiful people? We're just off down to hopefully swap our scooter for a car. So we're just gonna jump on the scooter, drive 10 minutes down to Heraklion, and hopefully pick up a car. You may have noticed that we seem like we're in a little bit of a rush and that is because what? <laughs> that is because the woman at the car rental place said that if we didn't get there by half past seven today we wouldn't get a car and that's because there's three cruise ships in today and they would probably take the car so we wouldn't be able to swap it for the scooter which I mean we could go to where we want to go on a scooter but it would be a lot comfier in a car Probably not as beautiful, but a lot comfier. So that's why we're heading off there in a little bit of a rush. We have less than zero fuel according to the fuelometer on the bike, so here's hoping we can get there in the next 10 minutes. Um, we arranged for our bike, our scooter, to be swapped for with a car. It's the yellow one over there, the small one, okay? Ah, oh, yeah, there she is. And there our beautiful whip is the nice yellow Hyundai at us. Yeah, baby. This is gonna be. I don't want the guy to hear, but this is gonna be my first time driving abroad here in Europe, so I'm a little bit nervous, but let's see how this goes. Perfect, thank you. Lawrence's first time driving a car abroad. You nervous? Well, <laughs> I'm fine driving scooters abroad, but this is like, this is all the wrong way around. This could be interesting. I'm ready for many stalls. Right. Let's, let's see how this goes. You got this. You got this. Our first movements. Don't crash, don't crash. No crash. <laughs> I'll wait the gear sticks on that side. <laughs> no stall as of yet. Haven't mown anyone over. Oh, we've got this. Woohoo, buddy! <laughs> oh, I got this down. I am there at us. You've got this. We know how to live. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yes. Yes. Oh god. There we go. Do you have money? I have money. So yeah. <laughs> well. I think we got a full tank anyway there. Despite trying not to. <laughs> At least we won't run out of fuel. Uh, there we go. <laughs> well, that went well. Now, because we had to get that car so early, we're just popping back. I think we'd have needed to pop back to pick up our bits anyway, but we haven't sorted any of them out, so we're just about to do that now. Back in the car, about two hours later, because we had loads of stuff to pack and sort, but now it's time to get on the way to Ios Nikolaos. So we just parked the old banana car on the side of the road here and that's because we're making a quick stop off at the monastery because Danai, who you might remember from last weekend who we went out with, told us it was kind of like a tradition and good luck to stop here at the monastery and pray for travellers, is it? Yeah. For travel, travel, for safe travel. So we're just going to pop in and quickly do that.
Finished up at the monastery, Hannah felt a bit ill beforehand and so we took a few minutes out here and now she's feeling a lot better. On with the journey. That's the way being is made up. So we have just arrived in Ayos Nikolaos and we have found a little place beside the cute little beach they've got here, literally like in the town. We've just got a little snack and then I think we're going to explore the town in a little bit after that but we were just too hungry so we thought we'd sit down, chill out, have a look at the beachy vibes and then we'll explore a little bit after. I like this place. We're just walking down to like the little lake area that Ayas Nikolaus is kind of famed for and it looks like we just missed a, a cliff diving event there's a big platform set up over here so on this cliff face this is up here a platform and it says cliff diving on there that would have been pretty cool to watch if there's been people just jumping off the rocks all the way from the top of there down it's quite high the place is very pretty, what do you think? So gorgeous. Oh, I love it. it. Looks like a few people are still jumping. Check this out. So Ayas Nikolaos was awesome. We've parked up the banana car. It has been struggling a little bit up the mountains, but we had to park it up because we're en route to our Airbnb, but the views have been crazy. Check this out. That is insane! Thank you, Maria. Oh, wow. This place looks amazing. I'm going to have to go and look at the view. Oh, my life. Look at the view. Oh, my God. How's that? We're just we're gonna move in. We're gonna move in if that's okay. Oh, we don't have a sea, but we have mountains. Oh, this view the sea. <laughs> is insane. Wow. Oh, yes. Oh, I actually can't believe it. This is unbelievably gorgeous. <laughs> so Maria, our Airbnb host, just let us in and showed us round, and this is the Airbnb. Got like a little dining area over here and they've given us some honey and some raki 
that were made by her own family. And then we've got sort of like a, a chill out area over here. Bed, a wild Hannah. <laughs> the kitchen area, bathroom in here. And then of course, just this crazy view. So we're staying in a place called Torlotti, I think. Torlotti. And the sun is just setting right now. Check this out. It's such a gorgeous little mountain village and I don't know, we're just, we're feeling very lucky to have got such a nice place to stay tonight. So we were just walking and we were really worried that like all of these houses, they'd just like continually line up all this whole area over here. But it looks like there's a clearing perfectly in place for where the sun's gonna set. Ah, oh, that looks so good. just so incredibly beautiful and it's really nice because the sun's setting at like half past eight right now so we just get to have I guess it's just like having a much longer day it feels like so we've done it feels like we've done loads today and we still managed to fit in a little nap after the football mm -hmm. and just now looking over the mountains and the coastal area and a little island just look at this So we just ordered some food and got some beers. We've got some little startery kind of bits here and our beers and a beautiful girlfriend. It's been an incredible day and I think topping it all off by staying up here in the mountains in what feels like a really authentic like Greek place. Like we just had to piece together with the woman who's running this like restaurant bar kind of place just here in the, we're sitting out on the street. Um, we just had to piece together like what we could order so we think we've got a pizza and a Greek salad but that's exactly like what we wanted from this so we've just been brought out this lovely looking stuff. Uh, Cretan traditional bread, tzatziki, olives, some weird fish pepper combination. <laughs> All for you. <laughs> I think we both wish we could stay here a lot longer, it just feels amazing. Anyway, I'm going to finish this one up here, thank you so much for watching, big love. It feels good around here. That feels good! I'm going to see the granny, I'm going to go right up next to the steering wheel for now. We've got to go get petrol. Right, let's, let's see how this goes. You got this, you got this. Well, when this knobhead comes in front of us, 